Okay, folks, Steve Taylor here. Uh, I'm going to shoot a short video showing you how to access the tube on a Ranger 521L, 520L, same thing, to pull additional wires from the console to the battery compartment. So here we go. First thing you have to do is remove your ignition panel. There's the ignition panel. It's got six screws in it, five screws, whatever it's got. Take them out, and then when you look in here, you'll see an empty tube right there. It's an empty tube that Ranger runs in there just for you to run additional wires, whatever you're running, back to the back compartment. So I've already ran my electrical snake in there. So let's go to the back and see what you have to do back here. You would think you could access that from the battery compartment. Nope. If you had really skinny arms, you may be able to. Mine are not big, but they're not that skinny. Pull that compartment lid off right there. Come around here and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see I've already got my snake pulled all the way out here. I'm going to tie my wires to. If you look up inside here, turn the flashlight on so you can see it. See that top one? That's the empty tube. The bottom tube has the hydraulic hoses for your steering for your big motor. The top tube is the empty tube. So I'll pull the wires back up through it and snake them back down into the battery compartment tied to the big, big motor. Actually, I'm going to tie it to the, not motor, to the um, downside of the breaker. So whenever I turn the power switch off, the power is turned off to those units. Now, once I get it to the console, I'm gonna go up front, take that panel off that has those two units on it, pull it off, run my snake back this way, back down that side through that tube, tie onto those two wires that are going to the front, pull them up to the, to the front and tie those in. And the reason I'm doing that is because the factories don't run large enough wire for these big units we're running now. That's a 16 inch HDS, uh, HDS 16 Lowrance at the console Another HDS 16 at the bow, plus a Garmin 1222 at the bow. And I'm losing voltage in that number 12 wire they run. If, you're, if, if you have two units on, you turn the voltage on on both of them and watch it. On this boat, I've got a one, between a one and one and a half volt difference between the two units, even though they're running off the same battery, strictly from the line loss from the console up front. So I've got probably another half a volt or three quarters of a volt lost from the console back here. So where my battery's showing 13 volts, I'm showing 12.1, 11.5 at the console. And, and, and they start kicking out on me. So that's the problem. So again, just want to give you a quick video. I had to learn this the hard way. Hopefully this will help you out. Just like the video, share it with whoever you need to. I'm sure it'll help a whole lot of people out. See you guys.